Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this bash tutorial on text viewers. Text viewers though, why would something so simple need a tutorial? Well there's quite a variety in the open source world, these GNU tools were written some time ago and are plentiful. I will be covering the viewers cat, more, less, head, tail, grep, od. But I'm not covering editors which would be something like Pico, Nano, V, Vim, Emacs and Ed. Well, the simplest viewer is cat, which is concatenate. In other words, joining multiple files together and outputting them onto the screen, or outputting them to another file. So I can type in the command and press tab to also complete to find a list of files, and let's open something like the dpkg log. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of text and it's just flowing straight down the screen. And I've got a scroll bar already, so great, there's far too much to read there. Perhaps it would be better to have more control over the file and be able to scroll down myself. And that is where tools like more and less come into play. So I can type in more and the file name, and you can see I have a scroll status at the bottom, so we have 2% at the moment, and to scroll down the file I'll press spacebar, and that scrolls one screen at a time. It is a very simplistic viewer in that I can only go down the file. So I can press Q to exit, and that is it. The other command, less, which is used in a similar fashion with less and the file name, actually has more control because I can scroll up and down using the arrow keys, page up, page down. So in fact, less is more and more is less. And again, I can press Q to exit. Okay, that is very simplistic looking at a file, but the other factor where they can come into play is from piping a command through. Something like ps-a, which is going to list all processes on my system, is again going to fly down the screen. I suppose not a problem here, I have a scroll bar so I can scroll up the screen. But if I was in a TTY console then I would not have that feature. And that is where more and less come into play. So by piping the command through to less, I can scroll up and down and see the whole list. So that is a very useful feature in being able to scroll through all the applications running on my system. Moving along to the next pair of commands which is head and tail. They literally show the top and bottom of the file or the head and tail of the file, if you will. These have a couple of options, so you can actually set a number of lines you would like to see, or a number of bytes as well, but I don't tend to use the number of bytes so much. So you can use dash n and then dictate the number of lines, so let's say five lines. Or maybe you would like to view more lines, and you could do dash n 20 to view 20 lines. Just going off the top of my head, I think the other command is dash c to view the number of bytes. So let's try that. Yeah, that's literally viewed 20 bytes of the file, so something a little bit more. Um, let's go for 100 bytes, or 1,000, I know, 100 bytes. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's a bit more of a crude way to use the command, I think. I prefer to view a number of lines, but yeah, there is that option here if you would like it. The idea of where tail can come into play is viewing a log file, because you might just want to see the newest lines in the log file. You don't necessarily want to read the whole lot. So that is a brilliant feature here in just being able to view the last few lines of a log file. You can combine head and tail together to extract, let's say in this case, the middle line of that file. So I have first, middle and last lines there, so let's try and get just the middle line out. And that would be open the file up in head, view the first two lines only, and then pipe the command through to tail and view just the last line. So in that case we have middle. I could get all fancy and do that, open the file up in cat, pipe it through to head, and then pipe it through to tail. Same result. Could get even more fancy, pipe the command through to grep, and then view every character. <laughs> yeah, this is just throwing nonsense out here. Okay, but it can be done. Okay, that leads me on to the next command there, grep. This is something I'm going to cover more in depth in a future video, but for now let's just cover a couple of the basics. Literally, you could use it like that, grep dot view every character of the file. So that'll be grep, the character set you're looking for, and the file name. So if I was looking for the line first out of demo.txt, then I could type the command out like that, grep, what I'm looking for, and the file name. Doesn't necessarily have to be a file name, again I could take the processes, looking at the process list for anything with NVIDIA in it. So now I have the process numbers of all programs with NVIDIA in. The last command I'll show you is OD, or octal dump. So if I try and view an executable file of cat, it just show a load of nonsense on the screen. Like that, that's pretty well unreadable. 
What OD does is view literally the octal dump of the file, so I have a printout of the byte values. Yeah, it may not be that useful for a day-to-day -day usage, but I'm just showing this viewer exists. As you can see, there is too much data on the screen, so what can I use to view that? Well, I've covered all those options already. More or less head tail. And now I can scroll through that file. That was a look at some of the basic text viewers available in the Linux terminal. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.